Hey guys, Happy New Year again. I know I've mentioned it before, but in this video I wanted to share my fitness and like healthy lifestyle goals um, for the near future. I decided not to make this a New Year's resolution video. I've seen a lot of those and I like listening and watching everyone's New Year's resolutions. But when it comes to, you know, working out, being healthy, it's not so much like just a resolution, it is a lifestyle change and a lifestyle choice. And my main thing is I definitely, the past, well, I think the beginning of December, I came to realize how much weight I had gained um, over the past year. And then it was December, so I'm like, uh, I, there's so much Christmas baking that I'm doing and receiving and all the like Christmas overeating, which shouldn't be happening, but it does, you know, bigger dinners than usual. So I'm like, I can't deal with this right now. I'll do it in the new year. So I understand that this is similar to new year's resolutions, but yeah, I didn't just want to say I want to lose weight. I wanted, I want to show you kind of what steps I'm taking to achieve that. So, um, a year ago, I guess, because I was in a not as good place, you know, I had a breakup and I lost a lot of weight just because I wasn't cooking, I wasn't eating, I just was really depressed. It was a dark period of time in um, my life. And then I met Dan and I started baking again because that's what I do and I'm happy, <laughs> which of course my waist gets mad at me for, but you know. Um, and then just... I guess Dan is, he's a skinny guy to begin with. Like he doesn't work out a lot especially, but he's just naturally skinny, not fair. Um, also he doesn't have the big sweet tooth like I do, but he likes salty and like chips and cheesies and he still doesn't gain weight. Of course, that's, you know, that's the guy thing to do. So anyways, I also hadn't been enjoying things like that with him and of course I pack on the pounds. So I've gained about 35 pounds, which is terrible, in a year. Now, thankfully, like in my face, I don't show it too much. Definitely if I look at videos a year ago, I noticed that my face looks slimmer, but the clothes that used to be, oh, those jeans are way too big, now they're too tight. So that's kind of depressing. So I decided um, just to give myself a like immediate goal and I was like, what's coming up? And I was like, Valentine's Day, even though really not much is happening, but I was like, spring break is still even farther away and I don't even know if I'm doing anything for spring break. However, if I do plan a cruise, then I'll be working even harder <laughs> leading up to that. But I don't know for sure yet. And the summer is so far off. So I'm like, Valentine's Day, that's a holiday. Well, it's not a holiday, but it's a day <laughs> as opposed to just like February 1st, you know, it's something. So I decided to do um, a goal for running 10 or 100 kilometers before Valentine's Day. Um, so for me, I don't think I would have an issue with that, um, but <laughs> Dan is also doing it with me. So he gets a matching thing, but in blue. <laughs> um, because, as I've mentioned now quite a few times, but I'm trying to get him to do the Disneyland 10K with me and sign up for that one, the Disneyland Half Marathon weekend is in February. And he's like, he's not a runner at all. And he's, we've done three kilometers like uh, runs, but he's like, okay, I don't even know if I'm able to do 10. So he's like, if I can do like seven kilometers, before sign up day, then I have no doubt that I'm going to be able to do the, like, the next three um, for the race. So that's what we're working on. So that's what he's working on. And he knows that I'm not happy with myself. And of course, when I'm not happy, none of us are happy. <laughs> um, so I think he's been trying to encourage me to run because he knows I want to look better and feel better about myself, but also I want to run faster and run better and get back on track with running. Um, so that's why he's been really good at encouraging me as well. So this um, like template is actually, it's from the um, Tone It Up Girls, I believe. And it was, I think, 100 miles before summer. Um, so, but I ended up liking this and I liked that it had the heart and I was like, Valentine's Day, so I just, um, wrote in the hundred and I obviously changed it to kilometers because I'm in Canada and then before Valentine's Day. So um, I Instagrammed a picture of this and on Facebook and people are asking me where they can find this and if 
I can like, give them a link to it. Obviously, I'll give you a link to the original one. I'm not claiming that this is my graphic or anything, so I'll give it the original one for the Toned Up Girls, but yeah, this is mine. And then, so that's what I'm kind of slowly working on uh, <laughs> leading up to Valentine's Day. But basically, I could have just done the end of January, but I was like, eh, we'll give us a little extra, um, <laughs> extra days. So February 14th. Um, and then what I've been working on as well, and I've been pretty good, I mean, it's only been five days now. I started a little late, um, but I found this on Pinterest. So I'll post a link to this as well. Um, it's just a challenge, and I've done like a squat challenge, I've done an obliques challenge before, but this one basically combines it all in one. So you do, um, it's 30 day challenge where each day you do squats, push ups, planks and crunches and even with me like because I've gained weight and I've lost some of my muscle mass like I started off with doing the five push-ups now I'm up to seven push-ups but even that I'm like okay hey, that's hard because I like do the actual ones not like the girly ones <laughs> which when you're on your knees and I was like I remember I used to be able to do 20 push-ups no problem you know and so I just definitely noticed a difference um so planks are still pretty easy for me. I used to do well, one of my workout classes where we did two minute planks. And actually sometimes in my ballet class we would do planks for about 30 seconds. So I'm only up to 40 seconds now, but those are still okay for me. Squats, I noticed that my knees start hurting. So, <laughs> but now I'm getting a little bit more used to it. The first day where it was 50 and then the second day 55, my knees hurt. Now I'm up to 75 and it's okay. Um, I just get bored, that's the most thing. So now I have a app that I, or like a game that I play on my phone and then I'm like squatting and every time I like do, I do a move, anyways, it passes the time, I just keep a total in my head or then Dan counts for me if I don't want to. Um, so, a lot, I don't know if it was last, I don't think last year, but the year before, I did like weekly updates on how things are going. I'm not going to do that this time, but I may do like once a month, do some updates with how things are going. Um, also worth, regarding my diet, I have to cut back on the bread. Again, that was something I hardly ate bread and then um, Dan loves using the bread machine and I love using the bread machine too and then so we've just been eating a lot of bread and then he brings home like these nice nut cranberry nut breads which are so good and I do love bread and bread's okay in moderation but I've been having a lot of bread the past couple months as well so that's something that I should just be aware of not to have that much bread um, and the main thing I think is just cutting those sweets out because I've pretty much every other day or maybe like, well, yeah, four times a week I have some sort of like chocolate or cake or, well, not cake, but some sort of like dessert that's, or piece of dessert or something that's not healthy for me. So I really have to watch that. Uh, I'm not going to cut it out completely, but just have to, yeah, watch it that I don't eat that much. But I'm really excited. Um, I'm excited about the challenge. And the nice thing is, even though Dan doesn't do this challenge with me, but that I've told him about it and I was like, this is what I'm doing. So we watch TV in the evening and I'm like, oh, well, let me just quickly do this. And it's, even though if I don't do it, I don't think he would say anything or anything. But it's just, it's just nice having someone else that I think would keep me accountable. I don't know. And then with the running too, I was texting him. Um, <laughs> And because he's at school now and I was texting him and I was like, oh, I don't know what else to do. What should I do today? He's like, you can go for a run. I'm like, and I sent him a picture. I'm like, looking this beautiful. <laughs> I was like, I almost never do my hair. I'm like, but I look this beautiful. I'm not going to now go for a run where I have something happening. I may go for a run tonight, but I'll like stay nice. Anyway, I was trying to think what other videos can I film today? Because I look so pretty. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see. Um, but I will go for a run because I don't care if he feels, I'm trying to get a Chloe who's suddenly behind me. I don't care if he finishes oh, honey, um, his 100 kilometers before thing, but I want to. Oh. But I know I've done once in last year or the year before, yeah, the year before I did a challenge of 100 miles, which is 160 kilometers in one month. And I did it, so. Okay. But um, kind of year goals, I hope to beat my half marathon time. So my next half marathon I think that I'm gonna be doing is just the Disneyland half marathon at the Labor Day long weekend. But this past one, uh, like last year's, I did 
so poorly. Um, yeah, I was really upset. And so I want to train again well enough that I can beat my time. My fastest time was at the Tinkerbell where I was two hours and 27 minutes. So I want to try to get around 220, which is huge. But I think if I train enough, then I can. And I think I want to try to get some of that weight down. Now, even though I gained 35 pounds in a year, probably not going to be able to lose that in a year, but I hope to at least lose about 10 pounds um, before the summer, which I don't think is that bad. So those are my goals, uh, my kind of healthy, my fitness and healthy lifestyle goals for this I don't want to say year because that turns into like resolutions, but in the upcoming time period. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, um, I'll put links below where I got those um, charts and just, yeah, before I adapted them. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Bye.